Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond the Galactic Science. As you can see, the tree farm is working very well. In fact, with this temporal dirt, you don't with one diamond chopper, it's full it's really busy the full time. And I've got here, I've got basically five. And if I go downstairs and have a look at what I've done. Like this, you'll see I'm not I've opened up the whole space below and I'll share this room schema with you anyway. So what's happening is the choppers are basically pulling in trees and stuff from here. Let's have a look at this chopper here. We've got this one. And it's busy refilling that with... I'm using sticks as fuel and stone axes as uh, choppers. And what's happening is here, they're coming down from here on the brown channel and on the green channel it's the input. And I've basically connected everything up. So what's going to happen then is we take the fuel into these into this chest here. Everything comes into the sorting chest here, which is now full, as I would expect it to be full. I'm not surprised. I'm a bit surprised I've got sticks in here because it really is. The farm is now full. You see, this this chest is full. This chest has just got a little bit of space for some more um, saplings. This chest is full too, so what I probably need to do is make some upgrades. And this is the system I've set up for the, basically two things for the fuel. So we'll look in this chest here, we've got two axes and 16 sticks. And that's being maintained. So as you can see, uh, stone is coming from this little mini chest here, which is coming from there. And that's always got 64 in. Here we've always got 64 wood trap player wood plank uh, wood logs from um, the farm and they're coming in here and this is actually set up to priority one so this will get them, them by priority and what's happening here is this is a, a relocate this is refined relocator and this particular one here is the extract item in fact the one I'm using let's have a look at that quickly is this one a block extractor and this one basically doesn't uh, doesn't uh, let items go back so it's a one-way system and then we have here is a um, crafting module and that basically is taking the wood and chopping that into planks and here we've got this one's taking the, the wood planks and chopping this into sticks and I'm basically limiting this to one Basically, it's one here and one here. It seems to um, not block so much. And here we get this the chest. So here we have a storage module here. And uh, this that's basically this block here, stock module. So I'm saying keep 16 sticks into here. And that actually keeps 16 sticks into the chest that it's attached to, or the inventory it's attached to. On the other side here, we've got the same thing. Here we've got output extracting the stone put cobblestone from from here that's being fed into the stock module here so i'm basically keeping three stone in here at any one time and here we have a that's a stock module keeping two sticks and then into the crafting item here we've basically got i'm keeping six in items on the input side and that's crafting stone axes and then the stone axes go into here, of course, and then that's being held with two. If I added another one in here, then this inventory would then store three. But it seems to be fine. I'm not going to change it. It's working just great. But to keep the farm running, I've got these open randles here. And on these open randles, you can't see it, what it is by looking at it. Uh, I've probably got one in my inventory. Let's have a quick look. It's a this one. It's a chunk loader. And it keeps one chunk in uh, running all the time. So if we go to F9 now, you see this is a chunk here that's actually being being held. I'm not quite sure exactly what the yellow bits mean. And this is the chunk. This is the current chunk. And it'll do that's for each of these four chunks here. There's basically four chunks. I have a chunk loader. So that's all all well and good. Now what else happens is that all the wood from here is getting cooked. 
in these two alloy smelters and dry alloy smelters and they're basically producing charcoal and as you can see these are full uh, both of them this one I just basically just set it up and I haven't actually used it yet I use it for say producing stone or something like that and all of these have got these octatic capacitors which basically maximize the fuel and at the moment the fuel or the power is coming from behind where I've got this beast base barrel the actual other end of the barrel is in the base in the moon base and these are then three uh, generators uh, sterling generators with hydrogen as their fuel and they produce enough power to run these two continuously and then it gets into charcoal into here and that charcoal then comes down through here into here so basically the charcoal is coming in where is it's coming into probably this side over here like this this is the input on on this and this is the syngas producing syngas producer and you see at the moment it's got 97 carbon percent carbon and 100 percent steam so the syngas is now 32,000 millibuckets of syngas but it's not going anywhere yet so today's little episode should be really about getting this to actually produce power so i'm going to turn off i've still got some I have to press it about five times the F9 key to get rid of the thing. So these, you can see, these farms just work the whole time. Well, I think we'll upgrade those first of all. And this is where in my working area, I've just got some chests in here for stuff that I want to work with. Also, I've created, this is the other one, and I've emptied, I've also changed this as well. This is just the standard, the lower level farm, and I've emptied out everything, as you can see. So it's just so basically there's the one pillar in the middle which you can then put ladders on to get in and out of it or however you want to do it. On the other side of here I built another room. Let's go up and have a look at this room. And this is going to be for animals. So as you can see I've got some RF tools matter beamers, three of those here. Matter beaming in matter into this spawner here. So at the moment that's got twenty thousand RF in it, so it's full but no syringe so what we have to do is to actually get a syringe but i think i'm going to save that for the next episode so let's quickly trip back out and go and get some more items what i'd like to make here in the moon base is to do some more jabber stuff so we can get that farm running properly and not blocking things up i discovered what the problem i'll show you that actually in a minute what I want is, I want my Jabber stuff, don't I? I'm not sure which barrel I've just that's in. Here we are. So I want to upgrade those two barrels. I'll take three upgrades like that. And I want to basically add two void upgrades onto them and also upgrade those so that they have a bit more capacity. I think I need a, some more barrels. Where are they? I don't have any upgrade capacity upgrades in there yet. Let's make a few of those. So I'll go down over here. And I do remember, this is where I'm. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? Let's take that out of my hand and get apples in my hand. Oh yes, I was going to get there. Some more jabber barrels. I've got a crafting unit over here with jabber barrels in it like this. So I can basically put some wood in there and just take a 15. Okay, if I want to make some more, I just put some Arcadia wood in there and it will make some more, which is coming from the farm, of course, outside. So, big bang. I would like, let's have a look at the uses of those things because that's what we need. Basically, that's the sorting one. Um, oh, it's this is what we need to make. So we need two more pistons for each one. So I'll make about four of those. I think I've got some pistons in here. Yes, I have 35. It's well worth making a lot of pistons. We'll make eight upgrades, I think. Or oh, four upgrades. Now we can put those in here. Actually, that didn't sort. I wonder why not. Sometimes these things actually do. These are great. This mod is great. The refinery relocation is great. Let's just check what I've got set up on this filter here. Sometimes it loses things between things. So I've got extra utilities and Jabber. So the Jabber should have sorted into here. So 
if we put that in there, it should stay. Sometimes it just it gets blocked if, if, if this game hasn't initialized correctly. So let's go and fix those things quickly now. I've got to go on the quick bit, of course. Let me go through the brown door. In fact, I don't need such a high farm for birch trees. I'm picking up a lot of saplings, which I can easily put those away. Let's get rid of those. So, so now I would like to upgrade this this barrel here. Shift right click, isn't it? And that one. I will do that on these three barrels, I think. And we shall put under those because the void upgrades require two slots. I've only got two, so we'll put that onto here for a start. Uh, one of those and one of those, and that uses its three slots. So that means when it gets full, it will simply just void off the items like that. And now, as you can see straight away, that's going up, and things are starting to produce more. It's starting to cook again, so more charcoal is being created. At the moment, actually, it doesn't keep up. This um, syngas producer has five mixing chambers. And what that means is that the millibytes, millibuckets per second is going up to five. So you need enough fuel to maintain that. Uh, but we don't get enough fuel from those yet. Maybe I've got to put the fifth one in, but I did it after the tanks were full so I don't know if that's actually keeping up you see here I've got a fifth um, chopper but they are very busy so what today's exercise is I think we should actually get and produce some power let's quickly whip back over here and then go back to the base and produce an advanced generator I shall put away these items I don't want in the moment. So they should disappear into the right place. I've got chests, that's good. I think I've got everything I need for the tapping. So we want to go to advanced generators. That's it's all this stuff here. Right. What we need for an advanced generator is the the generator controller, the gas turbine controller, exactly. So we need two iron, two redstone wirings, and one control circuit, which is made from four dash, one other quartz, and four redstone. So let's have a look. What do we have in our chests here? Redstone, we've got enough. Another quartz is not stored in there. Dash ingots, I've got some here, that's fine. In fact, that's actually in the wrong place too, because that should have been stored over here in the end of our IO chest. I've got more dash over. Oh, that's dark steel. In fact, at the end of the last episode, I was producing more dash anyway, so let's take that out of there and put those in this chest over here. Where I keep some special ingots. So what have we got in here now? I needed dash, um, nether quartz. All right, it'll be outside. I can quickly go and get some. Right. Nether quartz is a, a byproduct of, um, oh, I'm a little bit blank, which is a byproduct of um, sieving. I've got too much there too of sieving um, soul sand. The soul sand is made here by a stone barrel and I'm putting into that witch water, which is here, and sand. And then out of that we get soul sand and that comes into here. I'm not sieving it at the moment, but if I do, I get two things. Well, a few things actually. The important ones are gas tears and quartz. The reason for this is you haven't got a nether. In, in galactic science we don't have a nether, so that's a bit of a pain. So let's go and make this one. So I'm going to make two of those, I think. I think this stack, they do. And then, 
what do we need? Some we got some of this. I think I've got a few of these already prepared from previous. Actually, I may have moved them across over here now. Let's have a quick look. Having forgotten where I put them. Oh. I've really forgotten where I put them. Oh, never mind, I'll make some more of those. It's quite straightforward. I need some iron and I need some... So what do I need for this one? Just some iron, that makes 16. And this one, some with some redstone. Okay, no big deal. I need some sticks and some iron. Okay. So it's just... Sticks are no problem. I've got loads of sticks around. In fact, there's a crafting unit here which makes sticks. Wrong way. And you can see I've got 64 sticks. Let's take those out of there. That'll make some more. And iron, I want it, didn't I? Take a stack of iron. I think I've just picked up two stacks again. I will take uh, half a stack of gold, actually. Half a stack of gold. Bound to need gold. So we want to make this one. We'll make two of those, I think, and then the one, the other one was red, so it wasn't it, so. And we made one of this. We don't actually need so many of these. So, for the Syn gas, the gas turbine controller, we, should, we also need some iron frames, okay. Let's make a few of these. Probably about 16, I think. So now we should be able to make one of these. Even two. We also need a heat exchanger. No. Turbine control. We need these. I'm going to use a vibrant turbine as well. So this is basically five uh, vibrant ingots. I need 11 vibrant ingots in total. And I should have got these already. So I take 11. Uh, yeah, 11 will do for the first one. How many have I got now? Five. One more. Right. So we can craft those up. Like that. And if I remember rightly, they go around like that. And one block in the middle. And then we get the vibrant turbine rotor. So now we need to make the vibrant turbine, which is this one here. So we should be able to do that straight away. Like that. And what else do we need? I'm not 100% sure. We need an efficiency. We need a capacitor possibly. Well, we don't need an efficiency. Fuel tank. I'll tell you what we'll do. Put these two bits down, what we've made. Wrong. Let's try that. And then when you click on it, it tells you what you're missing. But that's it, actually. So it will need an intake. So it's going to need a gas intake or a fluid intake. Which one is it that we need? Oh, we need a flux generator. Okay, good. Definitely need a flux generator because it won't generate any power without it. So, gold, redstone, one of those, we've got that. That is made with two pistons, iron and a redstone. Haven't got any pistons on me. So that will generate the power. And we need an intake valve as well. Which I think is fluid. I think thin gas is actually a, a gas, but you, you use the fluid one to actually import it. So that's that one. We should have enough of that as well. Right. Now we'll just put these things back. Most of those will actually end up in this chest here. I will take these items with us. What can I use to pick these up? Probably just an ordinary wrench. I 
Nope. I'll just bash them then. Like that. And we'll see if that actually works and produce any power. We do need an output. I forgot about that. Let's have a look at this. Let's just check what I've got over here. Basically, I've got a flu fluid intake. And then I've got the con controller. And this is the gas mixing compressor. And that is what well, I think it makes it efficient. Because I think that was very expensive. We've got a fuel tank that holds more fuel. And a high density power capacitor. And the flux generator. On the outside here we've got a fuel air mixer and a sensor module which you don't really need for what we're doing and basically that's it so the only thing i was missing was the fuel no oh, actually i think we've got everything we need actually let's do it this way Oh, I could go the quick way. I forget, I've got it. That's the quick way. Right. So here I've got a, a fluid duct. So let's put on the end of that fluid up the fluid intake valve. Like that. And that should connect straight in. I don't know whether you can click that at all. Not a valid machine connection, fine. So then we can take the right wind turbine, put that down. And then we can take the controller. And then we can put down the flux generator. And probably a good place to put it is actually let's put it here and you'll see now it's got syngas it's now working and it's produced already 100,000 RF so we need to take that RF and do something with it well what we can do next is to we'll extend this a little bit I think have I got the decorator with me yes I have and I want to just change this mode by shift right clicking till I get a round door. I'll put a round door say here. And then we come back to the sonic screwdriver and make that into the reconfigure mode. And right click that. So what we can then put onto that is a is an energy interface. So I'm picking up saplings all the time. Where is the energy interface? Have I got any with my magic bags? No, it's actually a red one. We're going to have to quickly go and make one of those. Let's go back. Let me down here. Okay, so I want me to go back to the TARDIS mod and make a cable interface. ME cable energy conduit this one so it's just okay I should have everything I need we need to make two of these anyway so and the other was iron ingots wasn't it have I got no iron ingots there I don't believe it hmm Trying to think where I could have kept iron ingots if I haven't got them. I must have them on me. Not in there. Oh, yes, I've got some plenty on me. Look. Take those out, actually. I don't need those on there, do I? So we need some nuggets. Nine will do because that'll make two. And the rest I think we've got, so. Exactly. We've got two cable interfaces. You basically need one for input and the other one for output. Let's now go this time the quick way. I'm just having to think how I can do that. It's amazing. See, it looks like things are actually full because 
that would be a bit of a pain if things are full already but they should be voided off I'll have to figure out what's going on so I need to of course I need some en energy cables which I don't see in there oh darn I forgot my energy cables right let's put one of these on here for a start like that Let's have a quick look what's going on here. That's not full, so that should be working just fine. Ah, uh, this is full, but it shouldn't be full. Let's just take one out and sort that again. Yeah, sometimes the refinery relocation does block for no really good reason. That one's increasing, that's fine. So this is now not not holding anything which is which is also good. If I want to get extra if I want to get rid of these extra sticks, I just put them in here and it will very quickly get rid of these extra sticks. Um, so now I think the farms will no longer be full. Let's have a quick look at these farms. They should be outputting the stuff fairly fast, they are. And of course saplings couldn't be output because it was already the chest was already full with logs and sticks. Okay, good. Ah, energy conduit. Right. I also need to, I should also make a, a vibrant capacitor or a capacitor. Let's just check this is actually working, so let's do that. And I O is this one, I think. Oh yes, I've got these in here. So I think a capacitor requires four of these. I've forgotten. Let's have a look. Indeed it does. And one block of redstone and iron ingots. No big deal. So we quickly make another one there. So we need gold nuggets. Uh, shall I make a few more of these? Always needing gold nuggets. Right. Copper and redstone. Copper. That was one click. And redstone should be in here. So the recipe for that is this one make 11 we'll do that anyway we need loads it takes four of these to make one vibrant octet capacitor i think it's four so we can quickly make this one what else do we need i think that's everything we need isn't it oh block of redstone i've got one block of redstone That's basic. Oh, it's charging up. Oh, yes. I have to deal with that because it's going to charge up because I've got this qubit cell in there. Let's just put the qubit cell in there for the time being. Actually, that's not a good idea. Where's it disappeared to? Oh, here. I'm going to put this in one of the golden bag of holdings. I think that'll prevent it from charging that thing up. Good. And in these chests here, I should have uh, some conduit here. I'll take just the standard energy conduit, 600 R 640 RF per tick, as opposed to the ender one. That'll do fine. Cool. So we're not going to be producing that much RF per tick at the moment. Gone past the door. I'm not going the long way around. Right, so, so now we just need to connect this up. Let's put that down like that, and you'll see that that then gets lit up, connect to that. And now that should be putting power into the TARDIS. As you can see, the TARDIS actually need, 
This Randall can store 600,000 RF. And this is producing, so we'll look what it's producing now. So the power's going down here. It's using a thousand singles. It's produce. It's using about 0.5 millibuckets per tick, producing 500 RF per tick. So that's fair enough. So each one of these vibrant turbines will produce 500 RF, which I think will be sufficient for the time being. We'll see. I can always add more turbines very easily. I'm certainly producing enough wood for that as well. So we can try walking up here. In fact, let's do this in the um, main room. Let's go back here and then trim down here. Let's just take one of these. So that's an open roundel. And oh, that roundel I've got something, I think an item duct. Let's take another one. Doesn't matter which one we use. Let's go to reconfigure mode. Open this one up. Take the TARDIS cable interface here. Put that on top of it. And then we just put down this one. Shift right click, I think I have to do. And then we'll put the capacitor bank on the back of that there and then you can see this is charging up at 640 RF per tick so it's maxing out the cable now which is fine because we're certainly only producing 500 RF so we don't need it to be more than that and this roundel has got nearly 600,000 RF in it anyway so that is basically it do I have another? Cause my daughter was playing on her, so we should have a sec We had a second user, so I could then show you that as well. But I'll have to wait for another time for that. So you see, this is working rather nicely now. And I think that's it for this episode. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.